Amelia. Welcome to our channel. We're going to be talking four to eight week old puppies today, giving you everything you need to know from how to rehome them, what they're like at that age, things to be teaching them, and overall just how to take care of four to eight week old tyrants because they are that, tyrants. Yep. One thing you're going to deal with uh, with puppies that are between four and eight weeks old is food aggression slash food possession. It's a really toxic habit, but it's very easy to teach them not to do it. Uh, these are the three tips that we use to make sure that they uh, that all of our puppies came out non-food aggressive. The first is make sure there's plenty of bowls. They need all their own space to eat. They don't want to feel like they're defending anything. Um, with that said, however, you may want to consider feeding in groups if you have a couple that don't really like to follow the program. Yeah, you always uh, have those chonkers that just will eat like as many bites as they can out of one and then move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. So you'll learn which dogs those are and just look out. Sometimes it's better to feed them together because then they'll become so uh, like insecure about their own bowl. They just focus on their own bowl. They stop trying to steal from others. Um, another thing, I know it's a little hard when people are working and stuff, but if you can supervise the feedings just kind of be out there watching them correcting their behavior while they're eating that's probably the fastest and easiest way to make sure that they don't even pick the habit up to begin with yeah it's very easy to just grab the aggressive chunky ones throw them back at their bowl and they'll get it eventually that oh they just put me back another obvious one is to like be touching the bowl and stuff and making mm -hmm. sure they're not nipping at your hands but our, for our breed, it wasn't really relevant because we have a, sh they're shepherds and Pyrenees and the Pyrenees really aren't snappers. They're not food aggressive in, by nature. But if you have something that may be more inclined to bite, I would definitely work on touching the bowl, touching the food, maybe taking the bowl away every once in a while. We definitely do that throughout the supervising. Mm -hmm. You'll find you end up having to pull them away from people. Yeah, if they eat too fast or whatever, it's pretty easy. By people, I mean dogs. In our in our world, dogs are people. <laughs> oh, potty training. We all love that. Potty training a dog is probably the least enjoyable task that you'll have to do. So that's the good news. Now, as far as how to do it, if you have carpet, you're screwed. So try to just have them in a hardwooded area, tile, cement, whatever you can do. I have a feeling tile would not be fun because I think it, the grout would absorb the poop or the mm -hmm. pee. So I really do recommend either hardwood, cement, or outside. We had livestock dog breeds, or at least our area, that's what the, pr the primary use was for the puppies. So we left a lot of ours outside and then would just keep them contained and make sure, I mean, they're pottying outside, so you don't really have to worry about it. But if they're inside, inside you will learn, set a timer. Just yep. set a timer and take them outside when the timer goes off. Yeah, and it's annoying. It's no one likes doing it, but it's better than having to replace your whole carpet or floor or whatever because of it. Yes. Next thing is to set expectations for your puppies and kind of know what their plan is in the future. So like I said, in our case, we knew most of our dogs were going to, if not be livestock dogs, Hart really wants to be in this video. If, if not be livestock dogs, they were probably gonna be living a lot of their life outside. A lot of people in our area put their dogs inside fencing. So we decided that it was a good idea to just leave our dogs out, our puppies outside and have Bentley out there to protect them at night and be out there with them during the day just so that they were protected but they could learn the ins and outs of being outside and getting street smart, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But if you have a city life animal or if you think that the dog's gonna be inside, I would recommend crate training and obviously hitting potty training really hard and just knowing what you're gonna be, what your customers want as well as what your puppy wants. Mm -hmm. No, guys. Another big part of the four to eight week process is training them. These puppies, even though they seem kind of dumb and doofy, they're really like sponges. They're really easy to train at this age. Um, Sam was able to train both sets, like both litters to sit probably within two days, one day, something like that. Yeah. They all understood sit. She could have them all sit down and then put all their food bowls down. Um, they want to please at this age. They definitely look towards either their parent dogs or their parent humans to please them. They look at you like, hi, what can I do next? Um, so capitalize on that. Make sure you're working with them. Try to teach them the basics of sit, maybe stay, uh, maybe shake. We taught a couple of them shake and uh, I mean, our, our dog knows shake perfectly. Another important thing you're going to deal with during this time frame is the teething. Um, this is a, a very tough habit to deal with. Um, there's like a right way and a wrong way to do it. Um, we believe that if you don't, 
if you gently discourage without overreacting, uh, that's the best. If you overreact, they're puppies, they're little babies. They think it's a, an exciting game. If you're like, ow, oh, you're biting me, ow, stop. That's gonna just get them excited. But if you gently just kind of nudge them off or, or stand up and turn around, they're gonna get it very quickly. Um, and get bored. Yeah, and get bored. Like they don't, Art, Hart, when she was a puppy, she teeth maybe twice. We haven't had we any. Just, we, yeah, we just made her like very gently discouraged it and she, she never did it again. She doesn't bite. She keeps her mouth open even now as a, I mean mouth closed even now as an adult. Um, I yeah. find that the runt of the group will typically be the most nippy. I think that's how they cope with being like the smaller mm -hmm. dog in the group. Um, so just focus on that one knowing ahead of time. I'm warning you that the runt will probably be your problem child that bites at things. So just Make sure you're watching them and telling them no when it's applicable. Okay, so now you need to find the new home for your puppy. That's the most exciting part. How are we gonna do this? We posted ads on Craigslist and at our local feed stores. We did paper ads with the name polls. And I'm not sure where pe which one worked the best, but um, I think putting the pictures out is nice so people can just see the puppy ahead of time and at a younger age. Uh, now as to when they should come to your house and come see them, that's kind of more up to you as the owner of the puppies. Uh, we did it younger and we didn't have any problem with sickness or anything mm -hmm. like that So I don't think you I don't want to advise you on what you should do But we didn't worry about it and we didn't have any problems People and we had the puppies during COVID too So we were uh, definitely aware of the germs, but we had no issues Yeah, and I think we waited till they were about six weeks before mm -hmm. people came to come see them A lot of people also will say that you should keep your puppies through eight weeks. I mean 12 weeks I think it's up to you, but we did eight weeks a because they are Honestly, so cute at eight weeks. I feel like it's selfish to keep them through that window. And also as the owner of 10 puppies, you are sick of them. You don't want them anymore. And other people think they're cute. And you know who else doesn't want them anymore? Mother. You do what works for you the best. Mm -hmm. And if that were, if you feel like your mom really wants them through 12 weeks and you want them through 12 weeks, you go. But like for me, I felt like they were totally fine. Nobody reported any issues. That's another mm -hmm. thing. Make sure you encourage your new owners to reach out to you with pictures because we get pictures of our puppies all the time and it's really nice to see what they're doing. A lot of them are living very different lives. Mm -hmm. So it's very fun to see all of the progress. Speaking of vaccination and germs, I really quickly want to touch on um, doing your own vaccinations from home. I do not recommend that. If you get like the feed store vaccinations, the vet aren't going to recognize them anyways so it's a traumatic and not fun experience to give your animal a vaccine and I would recommend either taking them to the vet if you really want to get them vaccinated beforehand or just telling the people they're unvaccinated and that they can get they can do what they'd like to do and then I recommend pricing high and offering a pre-sale I say that because I found that our best owners came from the pre-sale paying a higher price for the dogs they got the best dogs that because they got to pick which one they wanted first and then they also just seem to be the best homes they're always updating me Mm -hmm. When I see pictures of those dogs, I always think they seem like they got the best deal. But I have to, so I'm just letting you know, I do think that like better owners pay more for their dogs. Just saying. But that doesn't mean you can't find great homes for less discounted dogs. We didn't pay much for our dogs when we bought them and they're great dogs mm -hmm. and we're a great home for them. I like to think. So I think that you just should pick what you want to do as far as pricing, depending on your area. You can usually look at comps if you want to look at Craigslist and look at the surrounding areas and see what other people are pricing their dogs at. That's an easy way to kind of get yourself a baseline. Mm -hmm. And then I would just do a little bit of research online and go from there. Um, if you want to shoot me the breed you have and ask me what you think the fair price, what I think a fair price is, just tell me where you're from too and I'll do my best to give you my recommendation. But other than that, I think you're on your own. Good luck. I hope it works out. Be careful of the poop. They definitely are little squirters and just get them outside, man, please. Like, I care for your house and your hygiene. So do that. <laughs> and be patient. Understand that you're going to be frustrated, but they're really cute. And once they're gone, like we've, we've not had puppies now for about six months, a little bit more. And I, I, I miss the sight of a puppy. I would never want to take care of them again, but like enjoy it because you won't do this very often. So enjoy the process. Savory and sweet. Sour patch, if you will. Yeah. All right. Without further ado, when in doubt, love it out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye guys.